So, I just took this example for example. I choose to modify it now, all the now, and to provide more specific information about it. So that means we use adjective to modify, to clarify about the noun or a pronoun that we are talking about that we are mentioning. And the adjective is mostly used before noun. So that means before noun there is an adjective. That adjective will modify to the noun. But it can also modify some word as well if you use the adjective after the word. For example, it is an expensive word. So yeah. This is an adjective. An adjective is taken for noun. So that means expensive is modified to the noun for And another one, she looks adorable today. She looks adorable. Look is a verb and adorable is an adjective. So that means an adjective can modify to the verb by using the adjective after the word. And to the degrees of adjective. Some adjective can be used to compare two things or more things by using adjective and comparing together at the same time. And in terms of comparing things, there are three, there are three degrees of adjective which is number one is positive adjective. What is positive adjective? Positive adjective is referred to the normal adjective that we use to describe about a thing, to describe something like tall, beautiful, short, long, big, or small or something. That is the positive adjective we use to describe about a thing. And how about the second one? It's the comparative adjective. Comparative adjective, some of you might see our group, some of our group presentation about the comparative adjective already. So, I'm here to tell all of you only a brief thing about the comparative adjective. We use, some, we use comparative adjective used to compare two things only. Two things only. Two things together. Which we, we use the form of ER. Uh, ER depends on the adjective, depends on the type of adjective, which means it's the long adjective or the short adjective. And the last one, the last degree is the superlative adjective, which is, it has the strongest competitive degree. The superlative adjective, we choose one among the things. That means we compare one to many other things together, which means we choose one to show about it is the greatest, it is the best, or it is the worst, because it has the strongest power to compare. And we use the form of the ESC, IESC, depends on the adjective, in which is it's a long one or a short one, and big one or and big anything say that because you've got three more types of adjectives. Yeah. <coughs> so for the four type of adjective, which is the distributive adjective. So the distributive adjective is a type of adjective that are used to talk about the parts of the group or the members. But we talk about the members of the group individually. Chẳng phải là hai chữ prán cứ dễ cầm bay, đầm bay dễ phí, cứ Nay mùi mùi, được có sẵn mạng chậm mùi mùi, mình thay dừng rừng vô thì mùi tầm bay mùi nhìn thêm mà nẹp nè. And some of the commonly used distributed adjectives are each, every, either, neither, any, or both. So for example, each student goes to school by motorbike. So as you can see, each student goes. Why did you use goes? Why did you use the singular form of the word? Because each is each used for singular noun. It used with singular noun. Trong này khác biệt each, every, either, neither, nó cứ pra trong mùi nâng singular noun. Trong, và sau này dân chú quý nó cứ trai tạp ra viết trong mùi singular noun hay vớt và trai tạp ra viết trong mùi nâng singular form của việc này. Ở sai, ở sai, dân dạy bê bê nè, we talk about the things individually. How about both? Why both you will ask? Both things are expensive. ពីយើងយើងពេញមួយនឹងមួយមែនបន្តបើយើងនិយាយពេញបូទគឺយើងរៀបយកទៅពេញយកមកយើងចឹងមួយមួយមែនបន្តយើងរៀបខ្ញុ
that means we asking for the owner of the boat. So that means we asking for the possession, for the ownership of the boat. What is who is uh, what is the boat belong to? Who is to belong to? And which which room should I get in? So that means this we ask about which can be asked about the type. We can ask about the choices that we make. The choices of the room of something that we want to go. And what language do you speak with the guest? What if we use generally to, talk, to ask about everything, almost everything that we want to know? So that if we want to know something, we use what plus we know, so that means we might ask about the type, about anything that we want to know. So, interrupter, which means asking questions. Remember. And the last type of adjective, which is the possessive adjective, that used to talk about our possession, to talk about the ownership. What is who is the things belong to? What is the things belong to who? Example, the boat belong to who? The box belongs to who? So that is the point of the possessive adjective that we are talking about. And remember, possessive adjective and pronoun are almost the same. But actually it's not the same because it has very different usage. The possessive adjective are my, your, our, their, his, her, and its. So as you can see, these are very similar to the normal pronoun, the subject pronoun that we, that we always use. But the different usage is the pronoun, it can stand alone, we can use it alone. But the, pos the possessive adjective, we cannot use it alone. We have to use it with the noun. We have to use it before the noun because it is adjective, it modifies to the noun which shows about the ownership and the possession of the noun. So for example, his dog is bigger than my dog. So that means his dog is referred to the other owner of the dog, which means to show the possession of the other owner of the dog. And this my dog is show about my myself. The dog that referred to that belongs to me. I saw her car was parked near your house. So that means the car is belong to her, someone, and your house also belongs to someone, which is might be your friend or something. And your house is a pair with who? And, and if you want to ask about the pair of the possessive adjective and the pronoun, my pair with I, your one with you, I work with me, there with they, his with he, her with she, and it with it. So, Remember about it because it is not hard to remember, it is not hard to notice. And the other one, our teacher is very nice. That means he might be very nice if he's a very nice person, he's a very easy easy going person. So our teacher is referred to the teacher that belongs to all of us in this class. Belongs to all of us who study in this class. And for the conclusion. Adjective is the word that modifies the noun and the pronoun, and they always stay before nouns or pronoun. And there are six types of adjective which I just show, which we just show all of you. And I will give you some summarizes. Quantitative, quantitative adjective used to show the quantity. But they have a hand beat by a man. Numeral, hand beat, jungle lay. And chi jungle rock. And chi jungle clear. The master adjective, you get a big position. You get a big digger like act. But one hand, I'm going to digger like check. You're going to digger like check. This is you tell me a big part of the group, a big member, a big part of the group, a big part of the group, a big part of the group, a big part of the group. In the group, it's not so new. So, so new. I should be a part of the group, 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 a part of the group. The group is a group 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 of the group. Very good. The group is a group of the group. Okay, you have any questions, everyone? <coughs> Thank you. And all my beloved friends here. Um, today I come here to face uh, to show all of you about uh, point number three: attitude with ing and attitude with uh, ed. <laughs> I'm quite glad. I'm quite glad. Um, now this point is attitude with ed. Attitude is. With ED used to show about what has happened on a person, or you can say that how the person feel about that thing. Um, for example, he was surprised by the result of his test. Uh, this 
They sometimes you can say the word uh, surprise. Surprise here show about uh, that um, his feeling that he is um, surprised by the result of his test. I am bored with I am bored reading all about this grammar rule. Um, it means that I feel bored or uh, that I read all about this grammar rule. Example number three, I, I am now uh, inspired to do wonderful things, wonderful things with my life and they sometimes write um, two doors of this. It's used to show about the effect of something that, um, the effect of something on person or thing or I mean that um, show about the characteristic of a person, a thing or a situation. For example, his test result was writing. Hello everyone. Uh, now it's time I will explain every word about 14, 2 and 2. Uh, 14, 14 and 2 and 2 is uh, an adjective that is used to describe about the quality of the string. <laughs> Is Yeah. <laughs> 